The scenarios for the Mediterranean region started in mid-2010 with the aim of exploring prospects for regional competitiveness looking out to the year 2030. The Mediterranean today is a highly fragmented region and has the largest wealth gap in the world. GDP per capita is roughly five times higher in the north than in the south. Regional trade is also highly fragmented. Individual countries of the southern Mediterranean trade heavily with Europe, but relatively little amongst each other. There are many different perspectives on the future of the Mediterranean. The forum's scenario process highlighted three critical uncertainties common to all these views. Will regional politics be cooperative or fragmented? Will resource management be sustainable or unsustainable? Will the region's labour markets be managed in an efficient or inefficient way? Based on how these critical uncertainties may evolve over the coming 20 years, the Forum and its partners have developed three alternative scenarios for the Mediterranean in 2030. In Medita Africa Rising, regional politics are fragmented between northern and southern Mediterranean countries. But strong growth in Africa drives new connections and opportunities for countries of the south. Europe is looking inwards to its own problems, such as the fiscal crisis, growth, unemployment, the identity of Europe, that it's very much ignoring or not looking or not paying attention to what's happening in the region. Uh, North Africa, once more, they're very open to technology, very, very open to what's happening in the world. As a result, we see southern Mediterranean countries improve their competitiveness, while northern Mediterranean countries stagnate over these years. Resource Famine describes a situation where the interaction between fragmented regional politics, inefficient regional labour markets and unsustainable resource use provide a particularly challenging environment for the Mediterranean region. Short-term gains take precedence over long-term sustainability and not taking into consideration water management, energy or the effect that this would have on the environment. The immediate takes precedence over the future. Southern Mediterranean countries see severe resource shortages which result in declines in their competitiveness position, while northern Mediterranean countries manage to slightly improve their competitiveness through investment, infrastructure and resource efficiency. In green mobility, we see after a difficult period of adjustments, a combination of cooperative regional politics, sustainable resource management across the region and complementary management of the regional labour market. The population in the southern Mediterranean move to southern Europe, uh, get educated, get trained and then come back to their own countries in order to uh, develop these, these new skills. A combination of labour mobility and investments in renewable energy drive significant improvements in the competitiveness positions of both southern and northern Mediterranean countries. The different scenarios show that despite its current fragmentation, the diversity of the Mediterranean is also a huge source of opportunities. Will you be ready to seize them?